welcome to Hand Tips from Exploring Hand Therapy. Today we're going to review nerve gliding for the wrist for carpal tunnel syndrome. Okay, you start with the patient in a fist, then they go to the neutral position, gently bring the wrist back, rotate the forearm into a supinated position, and have them gently pull the thumb back. If someone has bilateral carpal tunnel, you can do this bilaterally. Fist to neutral to wrist back, rotate, and then you do one thumb stretch and the other thumb stretch. This should not cause the patient any pain or discomfort, just a feeling of a gentle stretch. There have been studies that have shown nerve gliding to be an effective management technique for carpal tunnel syndrome. You can also have your patient do proximal glides if you're concerned that the patient has a double crush syndrome or issues other than carpal tunnel on its own. And to do that, you would start with your arm up and gently have them glide out into the fully extended posture. They may feel a gentle stretch and pull through their arm. And if they do not feel too much, you can also add the neck as an additional stretch to be pulled on the entire median nerve pathway. Thank you very much. That's a Coban wrap.